The Goldback conjecture is one of the oldest and easiest to understand hypotheses in mathematics which remains unproven. In its original form, now known as the weak Goldback conjecture, it was put forward by the Prussian amateur mathematician and historian Christian Goldback in a letter dated 7th of June 1742 and sent to Leonard Euler. In this guise, it says that every whole number greater than 5 is the sum of three prime numbers. For example, 12 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 7, and 25 is equal to 3 plus 5 plus 17. Euler restated this in an equivalent form as what is now called the strong Goldback conjecture, or simply the Goldback conjecture. Euler stated that every even number greater than 2 is the sum of two primes. For example, 4 equals 2 plus 2, 6 equals 3 plus 3, 8 equals 3 plus 5, 10 equals 3 plus 7, 100 equals 53 plus 47, and so on. The French mathematician and philosopher René Descartes knew about the two-prime version of Goldback's conjecture before either Goldback or Euler did. So, is it misnamed? Paul Erdos said, It is better that the conjecture be named after Goldback because, mathematically speaking, Descartes was infinitely rich and Goldback was very poor. In any event, there's a much more important question, namely, is the conjecture true? The general assumption is that it is, but no one knows for sure. The most significant step forward toward a proof came in 1973, when the Chinese mathematician Chen Jingrun showed that every sufficiently large even integer is the sum of a prime and a number that has at most two prime factors. Using powerful computers, the Goldback conjecture has been checked out to about 4 million trillion, but there's no great optimism among mathematicians that a final breakthrough is on the horizon. Even a reward of $1 million for a proof offered by the publishing house Faber & Faber in 2000 to help publicize the novel Uncle Petros and Goldback's Conjecture by the Greek mathematician and author Apostolos Doxiadis went unclaimed.